Hi, so guys, today what we'll be focusing on is some classic graduation, ranging from short to longer, with a classic taper through the sides and the back, followed with a nice triangular layer through the top. We have a roof, yeah? I want to really make sure these walls are correct before I go into the roof, all right? So what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to start on the sides. Reason is because the sides will dictate the taper and the sides will also dictate the layer on top. Unfortunately, if I start here and layer the top first, I run the risk of the graduation being incorrect and obviously the taper will be incorrect as well. That would be the negative knock-on effect of making a bad choice, okay? So the reason why in this scenario, guys, I'm starting on the sides is because number one, my layer is dictated by what I do in the sides. Furthermore, my taper will also be, okay? Secondly to that, guys, we can see there's not, in all reality, a lot of work to be done today. There's really, really not. This is not really heavy, guys. The weight is still sitting quite nice. There's not a massive amount of work to be done on this. So therefore, because I'm doing that, I'm really not gonna pick one focal point over the other to start. I'm gonna classically come through the sides, from the right-hand side all the way through to the left. Once again, we move to the left and we come all the way into the right. All along the contour, I wanna make sure I'm right. What I wanna do is place my comb on the side of the head. Okay, and then boom, where the comb falls flat is basically where my box section is gonna go in. Comb to the flat part of the head, like so. Where the comb goes off the head, in and around there is where my box section is gonna go. Okay, showcasing where the head rounds from the sides into the top. I'm gonna to just tilt the head off to the side. Once again, all along this little contour here, I wanna expose it so I can really begin my graduation work in this area, my crown. Okay, so roughly around here, you can see very nicely, the comb comes off the back of the head there. Quite a flat head shape, therefore the back of the box section is definitely gonna be relatively bigger than what we would have experienced before. And again, all I'm doing here guys is basing everything, absolutely everything off my head shape. Slight curve towards the bottom half of it, or the second half I should say. And then what I wanna do is groom everything forward. What we are gonna do is of course come through, making sure we have a visual balance on our box section at the top here, all right? A little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna bring the head towards me. I'm gonna groom everything on up. And I'm just gonna ensure that I have enough tension there to section it off like so. Okay, relatively short on the top, guys, which is another indicator that I don't wanna to remove too much length or too much. Coming in, in zone one, here we go. Nice deep diagonal section, not much in that there. It doesn't justify a section. What we wanna do is move up from that. Once again, section number one. From the top of the temple to the top of the ear, here we go. Section numero uno. Fine side of the comb goes underneath. We lift the section on up. Tilt the head away from me ever so slightly. Okay, what we wanna do now is bring everything nice and flat here, guys. Nice and flat. Someone can close that door, that would be amazing. Nice and flat here, guys, because it doesn't justify any excess length or any weight being built. Cut line is nice and flat. Once again, not looking to build any excess weight whatsoever. What I want to do is work this cutting line nice and flat to just behind the ear there. What will happen to the body? Coming behind the ear now. Coming behind the ear, the cut line is about to change its nature. It's gonna go from square to something along the lines of more triangular. Grip, groom, check. What we do, cut the line, there we go. I'm gonna ensure something a bit more triangular in this scenario here, guys, here we go. We're gonna ensure something that gets shorter to longer. And there we are, we have some nice length maintaining. Bring that right back to my previous section. Grip, groom, check, cut, check the line. Move the comb out of the way. Cut the line. Over direct from the top once again. And we start to move around the head. Move around the head. There's our temple peak point. See the way the weight line carries around? If we can get a weight to sit there, that's a sweet spot for it. Come and boom, just in line with behind here. You see that? There's my section number three, little tap. There we go. Comb comes underneath, lifts the section on up. Here we are, what I'm gonna do now, once again, is come slightly closer to the back of the head. 
And this scenario here, I'm going to show that my cut line becomes slightly more triangular, guys. Slightly more triangular, okay? Okay. Use that as my guide once again. Taking everything nice and short. I'm going to tilt the head forward there a touch. Just again, start to come out. And over direct when we read that curvature once again. Here we are. And make sure that's nice and balanced. Here we go. What we're doing. We have to connect it in just a little touch. Which would be nice. Keep all that lovely length that's there on the top already. A nice clean profile guide right in the middle. There's nothing to come off. See that? So guys, this is a very important decision that we have to make. So there's not much of a difference there at all. So therefore I'm not going to cut anything. See that? And leave that. You do not invent a new guide and bang that into the top. Okay, the length is sitting beautifully. Alright, you don't need to do anything. Here we go, comb on the flat part of the head once again. See where the comb goes off the head, it's pretty much everything on the frontal part here. So that does not get connected. From the top. Alright, a little tap of the comb once again. Pull that down and see if anything needs to get connected on in. What I'm going to do is take my section, take it straight on down there guys and see. Not much there. Anything a little bit. Nothing really. Next up the section happening right now guys, we need to see it. Connecting all that right on in there. Come round. Okay. Test water out of it already. So don't just go in straight away and start blow drying it. Yeah, what we want to do, get that excess water out first of all. Go dry quite naturally, yeah. A little bit of a lift towards the front for a little bit of volume. Get that little bit that we've just done, come through the top, drop everything on top of it, and then again, just literally nip into it, scissor a little touch. Once again, really smooth. First, what I'm going to do is come to the front here with the transition guard, take off this little bit of excess here. And that's just going to really allow that to be shaped up and get that sharpness on in that hairline. Shape this up through the top. Put in the top part of the shape up first. Come off that like a little pencil. Shape up to the side. Right underneath where the number two was. The area coming underneath where the transition was. Very there. So again, notice how the strokes are becoming a lot smaller. And of course, lastly, the zero. And again, notice how the motion guys with the zero is a lot slower. Balance it on both sides and in the middle. Flick that line on in once again. Meet in the middle here at the back. We 
do we're gonna open it up and get of course right underneath where our number two was and of course what we want to do then close it Once we close it then, and the one right underneath where it was closed. And of course, we're going then with our 0.5. Okay, and lastly then, of course, the zero. Just this little line in the bottom here, guys. Don't worry about finessing anything just yet. We are going to get to that, no problem. I'm going to focus on just blending at the table for now. Here we are again, guys, shape up towards the back of the ear falling over the top of the ear and then the bottom. It's like a little walking stick at an angle. A little walking stick at an angle. 